Look who's got natural light today. The top five cities I would consider living in other than Philadelphia and New York. Number five, Toronto, Ontario. I like to determine whether or not I would live in a town based on the amount of people I know that already live there. And I already have family in Toronto. It's a gorgeous town. I've been there a bunch of times to visit said family. And it's just really culturally diverse. Also, Canada is awesome. There's free healthcare and there's Degrassi. Don't judge me. It's one of my dreams to become a Canadian citizen and then write for Degrassi, okay? Okay. Now we're never going to talk about that again. Number four, Austin, Texas. I've never actually been to Austin, but from what I hear, the music scene is awesome, the weather is pretty awesome, and just the town is weird and cool, and they have Austin city limits. And generally, the population is pretty young, so I think it would be a good place to live while I'm still young. I don't know about when I'm older and more mature. Just, I'll never actually be more. Number three, Savannah, Georgia. I've mentioned before that my family goes to Hilton Head Island in South Carolina quite often for vacation, and one of the places we go to while we're there, because it's just about a 45-minute drive, is Savannah, and it's an awesome town. It's really historic, and yeah, it's pretty southern, but it's gorgeous. Number two, London, England. London is just a fun town. It's got a rich history, and the theater is great, and the people are cool, and I just think it would be a nice place to live for a little while. It would be weird for a little while, but I don't think I would be quite as fish out of watery as I would in a non-English speaking country. So, London, I'm coming at you at some point. Also, that'll increase my chances of the doctor running away with me and choosing me as a companion and us just having amazing adventures through time and space. And finally, number one. Los Angeles, California. I think I would have to spend more time there to see if I would want to live there permanently, but so far it's it's a fun town and the weather is consistent and not like going from rainy to a beautiful sunny beach day in like two seconds like here. Also it's just a colorful town where I think I could find a lot of stories. A lot of stories. Where would you hypothetically want to live? If you are studying abroad, where are you going to live? Or if you're going to college for the first time, what made you choose the city that your school is in? The videos for the rest of the week might be a little bit erratic. I don't know any better way to phrase that. Just because I am going to visit my family up in upstate New York at my uncle's lake house. There will be videos from there, I promise you. They're going to be a lot of fun, my cousins are crazy, and it, it'll be good times. And I'm, I'm ready for you to meet my family. I think we're there. I think we're there, YouTube. Anyway, sorry the quality of this video is kind of crappy. I'm in the throes of packing. But I will hopefully see you with a video from the road tomorrow. Bye-bye.